Everywhere you go these days, you see people using tarps to condition their horses. And um, what I want to do here is kind of show you some things that I do with the tarp that I kind of get along with and like. Um, one thing you can do is just just go get you nothing special, just an old blue tarp. And I like to get one that's a color gray on one side or green and blue and different colors. And I flip it and I, and I get him used to the different colors because, as you know, he'll get used to the blue, but then he'll see the gray and not know what that is, okay? So I put a hole in my tarp. Okay, like this, and I run my horsemanship knot or rope. Let's see, let me get this right. Run my horsemanship rope through that tarp, okay? And then, once again, I'm going to lunge my horse. On Pete. With that tarp between him and I. And when he steps on it, that's all right. I'm going to let him step on it and get my rope. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on PD. So what you can do when you start a horse at first, bring that tarp clear back here, okay? And as he starts getting more acquainted with it, just push it forward a little more. Push it a little more, okay? Okay, turn him. I've had horses that I've done this with that they absolutely will not turn toward that tarp. They act like it's going to kill them. But see that dragon beside him there? I've had horses really have a problem with that, okay? Well, we got to get this all worked out because what you don't want to do is you don't want to cowboy this horse around like some cowbilly riding him around out there trying to drag tires and railroad ties and fence posts. And, you know, you want to dally up and drag things off the saddle mounted. And you don't do things like this first. If he's not used to things traveling beside him dragging on the ground, I don't want to have a rope hooked up to him dragging something out there on his back. That's how all these guys you see wearing crutches around at the horse sales and all. They get themselves in trouble. Okay? But see how he gets tangled up? I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, I want to see how he handles that. I want to see what he does. You know, I, I want to see him get himself in trouble and get himself out, okay? But I want him to, to get this all worked out in a way that he sees he got it worked out by not panicking. You know, he worked out his own problem without panicking, okay? It's very good, okay, woo. So now I can take it and go over top of my knot with it, okay? I've had horses that it's literally taken me a week to get this far with, okay? This is huge right here. Yeah. All right. So the next thing we'll do is to teach him to, to walk over the tarp. And it's kind of like the same principle as the as the plywood over there we worked on a little bit ago. I'm going to bring my tarp. Come up here, Brandon. Look. I'm going to have that about two or three feet from the edge of the pen, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him around here. Come over. Walk them between here and the fence, like this, okay? Then I'm going to take my stick, and I'm going to bring it in a little closer, okay? Bring them around. Now some horses are going to want to jump this. They're not going to want to run across it. They want to jump over it, or they want to trot through and get nervous. 
but we want them to come through just like that. Next thing, I'm going to push it a little closer, okay? And then I'm going to get him to walk over it. Like that, okay? Next time I come around, now normally I do it from both directions for the sake of time. I'm not going to do it, but you need to do it in both directions, okay? Now we're going to come out here. We're going to walk on the tarp. We're going to stop. Walk on the tarp. Get all four feet on there. Come on, Petey. Whoa. Whoa. All four feet on it. We're going to stop. And we're going to let him rest a little bit. Okay? Whoa. There. Whoa. Whoa. There you go, boy. Whoa. We'll let two feet on there. All right. Now, sometimes if he's got a problem with that tarp, We'll make it smaller, okay? Like this, just like that. And we'll come around like this. And we'll just let him step over it. Okay, and then the next time we go across, we're gonna make it a little wider, like this. Okay, a little wider. Okay, Come on. then we're going to take you, flip it over. See how he likes gray. Okay, you'd be amazed. It makes a difference. Now watch him. He's going to look at it. It's a little different. See, it's a little different. He's just making sure, making sure it's not three foot deep. Okay, that's all right. Look over. So then I can take this tarp. So this is good. See what's happening here? This is good. Then I can take my tarp. I can sack him out with it. That. Come up underneath him with it. Touch him anywhere on his body with that tarp. And that's a horse I want to ride. I want to ride one like that. Can't wait to get on his back. <clears throat> but just take that tarp and get creative with it. You know, you can do all kinds of things in here. You know, we can... Uh, like walk over here and I'll show you. We got this obstacle out here with a bunch of noodles you walk through. Well, I keep this in here like this. Rather than take him out there and try to walk through those noodles, I'm gonna make sure he likes one noodle before he likes two or three or four, okay? So I'm gonna take these noodles like this and what you can do is you buy these things they got a hole in them like this and you can I think this will stick your stick in that noodle like this and then I take that and I can rub all over his body with that noodle stuck in my stick like this you know I want to be able to because when I walk through that noodle brigade out there, those things are going to slap him in the legs. They're going to slap him here and there, and he's going to walk through them. And then when I walk through them, I'm going to ask him to back through them. So I got to bring the noodle and simulate like I'm backing. I got to bring the noodles and simulate like I'm walking through them, like this. And if you don't skip steps, and if you do your homework like this, okay, I can condition a horse like this and let one of my young horsemen get on him. They can walk right out there and walk through every obstacle like they're not there. I mean, it just works like a charm. So, you know, just look around here. I've got all these ropes and different things. They're all for a purpose, but they're all there to, to be creative. 
and uh, just think about what I can do to make him more comfortable with his surroundings. So, okay, very good. Next video, I'll show you how to lunge your horse softly.